If you're a guy who has a pair of jeans that just don't fit very well in the waist, you are in luck because in this video I'm going to show you how you can downsize them. It is incredibly beginner friendly, it only takes about 10 minutes, and best of all, I don't like long intros, so let's uh, let's get into this. These are the offending jeans right here. Now normally I'm a size 34 in the waist, but yo, these are a 36, so uh, we gotta we gotta work some magic on these guys. And we can fix this problem in one of three ways. One, we could take out an equal amount of fabric from the waistband on both sides, but what that would end up doing is kind of warping these side pockets and making them really difficult to use. I mean, if you did that, you would end up going to grab your phone out of your pocket and most likely drop your $1,200 piece of tech in the process, which is a big old no bueno. An alternative way is to take out a chunk of fabric from right in the middle of that waistband, but uh, well, that really wouldn't work either. It would make it look like you're wearing a diaper all the time. So the resolution to that is to take in equal parts right above these two back pockets. Let's uh, let's get our stuff, shall we? We're gonna need a sewing machine, some sewing pins, a fabric measuring tape, or even a ruler if that's all you got. You're gonna need some fabric scissors, and uh, let's see here, um, oh, you need some uh, tailor's chalk too. We're gonna be taking off exactly two inches from these pants, but well, in the event that you don't know how much you wanna take off, pinch them in the back and then pull until they feel good. Try and shoot for no more than downsizing your jeans by two to maybe two and a half inches. If you try and do too much, you're just gonna end up making these back pockets start to sag and become all warped, and you don't want that. I'm SD, and if you're new, I show guys like you how to tailor their own clothes at home. So if that sounds interesting to you, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. Speaking of these back pockets, normally, you'd wanna put your darts right above them. But yo, check this out, we have this tag on the back of our jeans we want to you know we want to kind of avoid sewing through that in order to remedy this situation I'm going to measure an equal distance from my middle belt loop on each side therefore my darts are going to be 3.5 inches from each side put a pin in there to mark your place and you're good Boop. flip those bad boys inside out and since I'm taking off two inches I want to take off an inch from each side of the waistband so that they're even and in order to get an inch on each side I'm gonna grab that pin right there pinch it and pull it towards the inside of my jeans That's gonna leave me with half an inch from my finger right to that edge. And since it's doubled up on both sides, that's gonna give me a full inch. And then just do the same thing on the other side. Mark it with some chalk at the top right there. And once you have those two marks, draw two diagonal lines towards the top of this seam right here. This is always the fun part. You coming on down or say hello? Hello. Superheroes, huh? Who's your favorite superhero, huh? What do you mean you don't have a favorite? You're only saying that because I'm black. For these darts, we are going to be using a denim needle, a straight stitch that's actually three millimeters in length, so my machine is going to be set to three for the stitch length. And we usually use a stitch length of 2.5 on this channel for like pretty much everything else. But uh, see, I'm going to be using a longer stitch length. It's going to be very beneficial in the event that, well, I'm not really happy and I have to go back and use a seam ripper to take out this stitch. For my thread, I'm just using regular old run-of-the-mill polyester thread. Polyester thread is great, and it's actually key for this because, well, it's got some great elasticity to it, which is exactly what we want when we're putting any thread near our stretchy badonkadonk, right? I should probably edit that out. That was awkward. And go very, very slow for this because even though we're using a denim needle, our pants are doubled up. So it's pretty much like sewing through two pairs of jeans at the same time. Back stitch to lock it in and then follow along the line that you made. Remember, once you get to the bottom of your dart, you want it to be kind of invisible and you want to taper it all the way out once you get to that seam. This right here, this is the finished product. This is the inside of our jeans, and people always panic at this. They're like, whoa, 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 what's going on? It looks kind of weird, I don't get it. No, they don't look weird, you're just, you're looking at the inside. That's, that's kind of why it looks weird. We haven't done any cutting yet, so just don't panic. When I was sewing these darts, my lights were way too bright, so it was really hard to see my chalk lines properly, and I ended up handling my jeans so much that I kind of sort of rubbed them away a little bit. I made a slight mistake that you want to avoid, and I'm kind of glad that it happened in a way. Now, what you want to 
avoid doing is being way too aggressive with your angles. In a perfect world, I wanted to sew a completely straight yet diagonal line, but you can kind of see a little bit where I panicked and I realized I wasn't going at the angle that I wanted to, so I ended up kind of sharply going out towards the edge. I made a tutorial on how to put darts in your dress shirt and we talked exactly about that, about how when you're tapering or when you're sewing at an angle, aggressive hand movements are a huge no-no because that's what ends up causing dimples. You always want to be smooth and gentle with your hand motions. I want to let you know that I could have used a seam ripper, started over, and put together a flawless tailoring tutorial and you never would have known in a million years. But what good would that do? What's the point of presenting myself as if I don't make any mistakes? Mistakes happen. That's life. How annoyed would you be if you clicked on this video, tried this tutorial, and then you ended up with a weird looking butt because nobody told you how to properly angle your darts? Instead, you not only know how to do this, but how to also avoid your butt looking like a parallelogram. I got your back, man. You also don't really want all this extra fabric on here, so go grab your fabric scissors and cut it off. No need to finish it, try them on, see how you feel about them, and if you don't like them, you can, you know, just take it out with a seam ripper. This, this is the finished product. They fit great, they look awesome, and we would be done if it wasn't for the fact that, well, um, their boot cut jeans. Let's uh, let's change that, shall we? We're gonna go taper these bad boys. It's in the end card. I'll see you over there. SD out. See ya.